We're here with uh, Dr. James Dowd, author of The Vitamin D Cure. Tell us what vitamin D is in a nutshell. Well, vitamin D, uh, you know, we, it's, we confuse it with vitamins because it has that, that, that label in mm -hmm. front of it. But vitamin D belongs to uh, the steroid hormone family. Uh, and we're familiar with that family. Cortisol is in that family, uh, testosterone, mm -hmm. estrogen, progesterone. And, and we know how powerful these hormones are. And vitamin D really shares a lot of the, the, the same functions uh, with, with other members of its family and actually works with other members of its family to accomplish uh, its tasks. Why is it called a vitamin if it's, if it's a hormone? People know what hormones are and they know what vitamins are. Why did that... Well, most of that has to do with history. When, uh, uh, when they were discovering these small molecules that they found were important uh, uh, and, and, and came from nutrient sources, they just started labeling them sequentially, uh, A, B, C, hmm. um, and they came along to this molecule D that was associated with bone uh, 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 and rickets and, and hmm. these sorts of problems that they were seeing both in humans and animals at the time uh, of the discovery. And so they thought it was uh, food sourced and, and that uh, this was the next small uh, uh, compound that uh, uh, fell in that same uh, line of compounds. Okay. Uh, what's its role in, in our body, vitamin D? What, why do we need it? Uh, well, vitamin D, um, as a steroid hormone, its primary function uh, is to regulate calcium metabolism. Okay? So it's uh, essential for absorption of calcium in our gut. So in the absence of vitamin D, we do not absorb calcium from our gut. Uh, so there's no passive absorption of calcium. Uh, you, you need the vitamin D. Um, uh, and it regulates calcium uh, if your levels drop for whatever reason. It can take calcium out of your bone. It can reabsorb more from your urine uh, and, and regulate this balance of calcium uh, at, at any time in your life. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's probably its principal function okay. is, is calcium metabolism. But what we've learned in the last decade or two, really, is that vitamin D is uh, not only produced um, but binds to and functions in almost every cell type in the body and has very diverse functions beyond its uh, calcium effects. Um, and those are the ones that are really m more interesting and that I wrote about in the vitamin D cure mm -hmm. that kind of takes you past the calcium equation into a, a lot more interesting stuff. One of, is that one of the reasons why we associate vitamin D with dairy products? I mean, you see it, uh, you know, in milk and things like that because the two are the head go hand in hand? Yeah, so the, the dairy story is interesting. In the, in the pre-World War II era, when rickets, uh, the bone mm -hmm. disease in children, was really a pandemic. So whenever you went to urban centers like New York City, London, Paris, these uh, uh, Chicago, uh, rickets was, was widespread. Um, uh, and so it was a serious problem uh, in children who weren't out in the sun, who weren't playing and weren't physically active and had very different diets in these poorer um, uh, uh, urban areas than they did in, in rural areas. Um, and uh, so as a public health measure, uh, the federal government says, we've got to do something about this because these kids are a mess. They have all kinds of problems, scoliosis, crooked bones, they have lousy teeth, and they have learning disabilities, they have heart failure, they have all kinds of uh, other health problems related to this uh, deficiency. And so they said, we've got we to somehow get it in almost like get it in the water. <laughs> but for kids, that mm -hmm. happened to be, let's pick something that children are going to consume on a regular basis um, that may also have some uh, um, compatible, if you will, nutrients, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll add, add this to it, uh, and maybe this will fix the problem. And so that was their thought. Now, in, at the same time in Europe, they were, they were and in the United States, prior to fortifying milk, everybody's taking cod liver oil, and, and that was an unpleasant experience. And so they said, well, maybe we can do something different that was raise compliance. And so they decided to add it to milk. So they fortified milk with A and D. That was around the same time they, the homogenization process started. So then you started seeing homogenized milk with A and D in it. Mm. Um, uh, and then that became, that sort of was set into law. Um, and the amounts that they put in milk of A and D are very effective at preventing rickets. But what we, we realize is now is that those amounts are quite low and, and don't provide the amount of D needed for adults to normalize their D status. Okay, so we know that vitamin D is not actually a vitamin, it's a hormone. Uh, what's the difference between a vitamin and a hormone in, in terms of their roles in the body? Well, um, because uh, the, the term vitamin was not 
uh, was not, uh, they didn't derive that term from some functional mm. uh, definition okay. that everything that functions in a certain way we're going to call a vitamin and everything that functions in a different way we're going to call it something else. Otherwise, a lot of the vitamins would disappear. Many vitamins are sort of cofactors in reactions, and so they catalyze certain reactions, um, uh, enzymatic reactions, or they play a, an accessory role um, uh, to increase the efficiency of whether it be DNA replication or, or methylation of, of DNA or modification of, of proteins. Um, uh, and so they really, it's an, it's an antiquated term that was assigned uh, historically uh, in, it really in a, in a time uh, wise fashion to molecules as they were discovered, but it, it, it's not a unifying term that tells us anything about what these molecules are doing necessarily. So, so many vitamins, like vitamin D, is very different from vitamin C, is very different from folic acid, and, 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 and B vitamins that are important mm -hmm. in methylation are very different from, from some other uh, things.